Hey guys, this is Jasmine Antoine. I'm coming today with a word of encouragement. It's actually a vision that I had just a couple days ago and I have this scripture on the screen because this scripture plays a part in what I'm getting ready to say. So the other day I was spending time with God and then I had this vision. The Lord opened my eyes up to see an angel coming up to the table where I was sitting, spending time with God and this angel had a runner with him and he rolled it out on the table. You all know what a runner is, right? It's those things that they um, have across tables and maybe some extra decor is on top of those runners, maybe like candles or cups or um, just something cute. And so on top of this runner was like a feast. It was a bunch of food and um, there was some drink as well. I remember seeing a huge goblet cup. Everything was glowing and everything was like bright white. And so when I seen this, I asked God within my heart, I said, what is this? And I heard spiritual food. After I heard that, I wrote down in my prayer journal that the Lord wants me to feast on spiritual food. The awesome thing about this spread is that it was so beautiful. It was so gorgeous. It was abundant. There was plenty of food and drink and it was more than enough. It was God's goodness. I don't know if you all have ever been to someone's house and uh, they were hosting maybe a party and they had this beautiful spread on a table prepared for their company. They wanted to present something beautiful for their company and to their company. And that's what God has done. He has presented something beautiful and glorious to us. And that is the word of God. His word is abundant. We'll find out then we read it that it is more than enough for us. We'll find out that it is plenty. It will satisfy us. And through reading his word, we'll realize that God is so good. The scripture on the screen says that men shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. And I just wanted to remind you today to feast on spiritual food, to feast on the word of God, because you cannot just live off of just the food that we have here. You also need spiritual food. You need to feed your spirit with spiritual food. You cannot go a day without eating spiritual food. We we must feast on spiritual food. The Lord wants us to feast on it. The Lord wants us to understand how great and good he is. The Lord wants us to understand that we have so much abundance in him and in him alone. Hallelujah. I love you guys. Jesus loves you so much more. I wanted to just remind you guys to have that quality time with God and to have that hangout sesh with your Lord, with your Savior. Um, that's what I call it. My time with God in the morning. I say it's my hangout sesh with Abba. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see y'all again in the next video. Bye. Bye.